coming into the Amazon was like coming into a new world. The size of everything and the intensity of everything. Just sailing down a river, you know, where the sun is setting and you feel the wind in your face and you just hear the noise of the water and you see the forest pass by. When you think about an explorer or a scientist or an ecologist, and you imagine us in an environment like this. But normally, I'm most happy when I'm sitting in front of my computer and looking at data. If you take out the technology, then the ecology is not half as fun as it is to me now. Water is the blood of the Amazon and the wetlands are, are the veins. We're here in the Amazon wetlands to understand how trees can cope with months and months of flooding and how changes in this flooding brought by climate change could affect the future of these wetland forests. And we're bringing a different set of technologies to do that, ways to measure the tolerance of trees to inundation and other disturbances. We're bringing laser scanners to look at the 3D structure of the forest. And we're also using traditional ecology methods to better understand what those trees do and how they survive. It's funny that a place where there's so much water will be so dependent on water, but that's because that abundance is what makes the system works as it is. And if you change that, if you open the tap too much or if you close it too sudden, then everything falls apart. Virtual technologies can make future generations more connected to the actual places. Right? It's a very important thing for us as human beings is our connection to place and how we bond to certain places because we know those places, they are familiar to us. It's hard to convince someone to care about a wetland forest. They've never been, they never will be to a wetland forest. It's too far, too inaccessible, too abstract for them. But with that technology, we can bring the forest to them and show like, this is what we're talking about. This is the environment that we're trying to protect. This is something that will be lost. No one else is gonna be able to experience it if we don't do something now.